अग्रे कारुण्यासाख्यमये because of prakriti purusha has this uh, enjoyment bhoktratva so how it has that we will discuss in next uh, 20th or 21st karikas and as here it is said sankhadasya padarthatva the combination of many parts is called sankhata a composite product the all the composite products is uh, working for something else so here the bhoga is also for something else the object of enjoyment doesn't have the enjoyment itself therefore the enjoyment is something else so therefore bhoktatva bhoktatva is the enjoyer similarly kaivalya so now in relation with purusha in order to uh, establish the multiplicity of purusha so the 18th karika and again the nature of purusha in 19th karika so in many of the philosophers of this uh, philosophy school they established their theory based on multiple multiplicity of purusha is purusha bahutva like in vedanta we have many jivatmas although atma is one but jivatmas are many uh, likewise uh, the, the other uh, philosophers they also say the uh, divatmas are or the purushas are many but the difference is in vedanta when we say jivas are many purushas are many it is only because of ignorance it is not real but in sankhya or in nyaya vishishika and all those darshanas they say that is real it means the multiplicity of purusha is real mimamsa sankhya yoga vedanta as well as vaisheshika nyaya vaisheshika mimamsa sankhya and yoga they have multiplicity of purusha there is one sutra in nyaya darshana vyavastha to nana it comes in the third chapter of uh, no why is not vishesh uh, nyaya darshana vishesh ke darshan cross they adopted from vishesh ke darshan nyaya darshana to vyavastha to nana to establish the creation 
to establish the creation, to make uh, uh, the position of Purusha and Prakriti and all of these connections. So we consider Purushas many. So Vyavasthato Nana. So you know, what is this uh, uh, establishment? How you uh, establish the multitude of Purusha? Why you have established that? Then they say these reasons which are there in deity and karma. There the birth, death and uh, karma, enjoyment, suffering, everything is different. One individual is suffering and another individual is enjoying, sometimes with the same object. It also happens. So how can we say it's only one atma? Because other, it cannot be said that. And many karmas and uh, enjoyments are also uh, many. Therefore, we have to say many purushas. And birth and death is also different. Some uh, Someone is dying and someone takes birth and in different times. In same times, so it all happens. Therefore, to make this uh, karma theory, to establish this karma theory, we need to accept purusha as many. That is what they say. So when we think uh, the, with the normal experience and normal logic, it's right. So we also believe in uh, jiva bahutta because jivas are many for Vedanta. According to Antakarana, each jiva is different. So each jiva's uh, experience is also different and karma is different and one jiva is mukta, uh, enlightened, liberated and the other jiva is still in bondage. So it's all there. Therefore this karika is very famous. Uh, this has the uh, reasons why we should uh, Accept Purusha as men. Janana Marana Karana Nam Pratiniyama Dayuka Pat Pravritesha Purusha Bahutvam Siddham Traikunya Viparya Yachayva Purusha Bahutvam Siddham Traikunya Viparya Yachayva Purusha Bahutvam Siddham Traikunya Viparya Yachayva So in order to establish Janana Marana Karanana Janana Birth, Marana, Death, and Karanana, the instruments as sense organs. They are different in action and cognition. So, Janana, Marana, Karanana, Prati, Niyamat, individual allotment means each uh, instrument is allotted to each jiva. So prati niyamat. It cannot be mixed or you uh, cannot take as one because each instrument as sense organs has different experience. So out of that different karmas are there. So birth and death, janana varana karanana prati niyamat. So this cannot be denied. Somehow we have to uh, prove it. It is happening differently, therefore it is different. 
the individual uh, allotment is called prati niyama so when we say niyama one doesn't go to other or one doesn't connect to connect to other so you cannot say if i am seeing the others also seeing the same or i am uh, hearing the other is also hearing the same it is different although the sound is may be the same the object is the same but hearing and understanding will be different ha this why it differs vedanta says not because uh, the jiva is actually really is different jiva is different because of andakara so the each andakarana is different so the experience is different that is the answer given by vedanta and here they are not uh, making that sense that all instruments are one because uh, we have to say each karma is different each person's karma is different so then how it is different because prakriti and purusha is the same why is karma that different because it uh, is different because of purusha is different the reflected chaitanya is different that is what they say the janana marana karana nam prati niyamat so one reason and the second reason is ayukapat pravrittischa if only one jiva or one purusha if we consider that then there should be actions simultaneously because all we do same act, action at same time but it is not true each person's action are different so non simultaneous actions also shows each individual is different the one desire is different from other desires and one individual desire is different from other individuals desires so it is not possible to do simultaneous action therefore purusha is different ayugavat pravrittischa yugavat means simultaneous ayugavat means not simultaneous pravritti means activity action त्रैगुण्य विपर्यचुण्य दैनिफेस्टेशन आफ थ्री गुणा मॉडिफिकेशन आफ थ्री गुणा आलो डिफर त्रैगुण्य विपर्यच विपर्य मीन दैज नो मॉडिफिकेशन आफ बी so a is different from b b is different from a like that so traikunya viparyaatva purusha bahutvam siddham by this reasons the multiplicity of purusha has been established siddham siddham is established we can really say there is multiplicity of purusha now here sankhya does not state that this statement is real or unreal but if you see the other karikas so when we see karika 62 there it comes tasmad na badhyade adha na mutyade na bi samsarati kaschit it is saying about purusha really speaking purusha doesn't have bandhana or bondage or samsara or no liberation so no liberation no bondage to the purusha and then how it comes how it some samsara comes 
संसरति बद्धदे मुच्चदे च नानाश्रया प्रकृति so there it is speaking about something different is very much connected to veda it says prakriti which uh, multiple uh, functions comes to samsara and goes back so the ma, the samsara the bondage and the liberation in uh, with the relation with the modifications of prakriti not because of purusha so now you see if we compare with the 62 karika and this we have to assume this statement is only to establish what we are seeing to just to uh, take that and discuss so what we see as a different different uh, different type of uh, experience just to want to say about that that's all is like in vedanta if this is true the 62 gariga what it said cannot be true because it says samsara is not there for purusha it means there is no real birth near real death or modifications for purusha okay so and here the janana varana karnanam pradinivana how it can be because this is this is the reason given for the uh, purusha so there it says purusha has no janana varana and here it says janana varana karnanam pradinivana therefore this is uh, also to establish what we know from our day to day speeches because if this answer is given then we are satisfied that each person has different experiences because of this this is one reason we have to think about it the another uh, insights we can uh, find from this is sankhya everywhere sankhya says purusha has no modification in its character if that is the case then the modifications comes from prakriti like the sushti tukarika say samsarati badhyade mutyade cha nana asraya prakriti so samsara and bondage and liberation is happening because prakriti has multiple functions if we take that here the pain uh, happiness and enjoyment or whatever happens this is also related to prakriti only so the multiple city is not because of purusha multiple city is because of prakriti and we say the one modification we call as antakarana or chitta so because of differences in chitta with the trigona we have different individuals so this would be the uh, right understanding from this discussion and this is what vedanta also say same thing vedanta say because of a uh, different uh, differences in antakarana we have different uh, individuals the buddhi is different intelligent is the different the different uh, uh, karmas so this is all connected to prakriti or karma buddhi antakarana and trigunas all are connected to prakriti and differences are there and this differences which are there in uh, the uh, modifications of prakriti this differences are attributed to purusha is reflected as purush therefore here it is like vyavastha do nana vat vaisheshika sutra say same thing is uh, continued here the trigunya vibhari as now trigunas are not connected to uh, purusha it is already stated in the fourth fifth karigas we are we know that this is all modification of prakriti the triguna is not directly connected to purusha 
Therefore, multiplicity is because of prakriti only, not because of purusha. So this we can see, and uh, then that another uh, point here. Nowhere we can see that uh, Sankhya says, at least in uh, Sankhya Karika, it says Purusha is all pervading. If Purusha is all pervading, there is no statement like that. But we have to believe that Purusha is all pervading from uh, the points what we discuss here in relation with Purusha. There is no statement, surprise statement. But there is one sutra in Sankhya Darshana Sutra. It says, Samadhi Sushupti Mokshesu Brahma Rupata. It says about Purusha. Because here there is no discussion of Brahma. Brahma. Brahma means all the way. There it says, this Purusha, this uh, consciousness is. It has Brahma Rupata, the nature of Brahman, all pervading, Samadhi, Sushupti, Mokshe, in three states, we can experience as Brahman, Samadhi, because there is no mind, so you are like a Brahman, all pervading, you know, there is no limitation. And Sushupti, Sushupti also, there is no mind and uh, mental activities, therefore Purusha is all pervaded and Moksha in Kaivalya also it is all pervaded. So we have to relate with this. This is uh, Sankhya Sutra uh, chapter 5, 116, 116 Sutra. So the mention is there. Like that. If we take that point uh, and connects here, it means. Uh, if there are many Purushas, this cannot be so. So how uh, many Purushas are unpervading, we cannot prove it. Therefore, Samadhi, Sushupti, Moksha, so all these three states. The same thing we talk about in Vedanta also. In Vedanta also in Samadhi, or when there, when there is no mind, you experience the uh, the character of uh, the, the nature of Purusha as Brahman and similarly Sushupti and Moksha. So this way uh, uh, we can say Purusha has the characteristics of all pervading. So multitude, uh, uh, multiplicity of Purusha is uh, in relation with the functions or manifestations of Prakriti or Vitanta Karnas. Now, the next Karika. <coughs> next Karika uh, again uh, discuss about the nature of Purusha. Tasmacha Vibaryasa Siddham Sakshitvamasya Purushasya. Kaivalyam Madhyastyam Drashtratva Makartra Bhavascha Kaivalyam Madhyastyam Drashtratva Makartra Bhavascha Kaivalyam Madhyastyam Drashtratva Makartra Bhavascha Tasmatcha Tasmat mean therefore therefore from that now uh, from the reason we have to connect because trikuna aviveki prakriti is trikuna and prakriti is non conscious or unconscious with the, those reasons already discussed because of that Tasmatcha. 
विपर्यासा सिद्धम साक्षित्वमस्य पुरुषस्य सो दिस पुरुषा इज डिफरेंट और पुरुषा हैज द नेचर ऑफ ऑपोजिट नेचर ऑफ प्रकृति दिस पुरुषा हैज विपर्यासा विपर्यास इज ऑपोजिट द ऑपोजिट नेचर ऑफ प्रकृति therefore we can say this purusha is sakshitvam purusha has purusha is sakshi so purusha has sakshitvam the state of witness the state of observing or state of witnessing the purusha has that now prakriti cannot witness its own functions functions or modifications happens in prakriti or like uh, intellect ahankara and all of those and we are seeing it we are means the purusha seeing it so vibhariya sa siddham sakshitvam asya purushasya like yesterday we discussed about the drashtratva the seer shit so similarly here we come sakshitva and there is some difference between uh, seeing and being witness the seeing is different and witnessing is different and then here all the three comes sakshitvam madhyastyam and drashtratvam now when we say sakshi sakshi has no support or without any instrument sakshi witness observe the functions and sakshi will not have any uh, any uh, differences or after seeing it no reaction sakshi has no reaction if reaction is there that state is not sakshi that is drashta you are seeing something and you are enjoy so the enjoyment is can enjoyment can be called as a as a reaction you know after seeing it after listening it now sakshi has sakshi should not have any reaction that is sakshi so sakshitva okay uh, now there is one sutra from which uh, it comes in vyakarana there is one sutra sakshat drashtari samnyaya from which the sakshi word is formed say it says about a pratyaya which is uh, suffixed to this uh, sakshi shabda then it comes sakshi and in which what is the meaning of that it means saksha the drashtari saksha means directly saksha drashtari first how it is directly when we see objects we are seeing directly but is not we have the instrument in between so sakshi has no instrument without instrument sakshi is aware about the uh, modifications of the prakriti or here the antakaran so therefore direct experience why we uh, say that why we should say that if in between instruments comes through instrument instrument the seeing or experiencing comes then if there is some problem in the instrument the experience may change it cannot be real because instrument has some problem then your experience also has some problem so the direct experience means without instrument and now sakshi can have only the modifications of the antakarana chitta 
Sakshi will not see outside objects because outside object for seeing outside objects you need instruments. Instrument as sense organs. So therefore, Sakcha Drashtari. So he is observing, he is uh, witnessing the functions and modifications directly. Therefore, it is called Sakcha Drashtari. <coughs> Sakcha drashta, is the drashta of or the seer or the uh, observer of intelligent or chitta. So he is seeing the intellect as in the form. And he, uh, the, all other uh, seeing or uh, observing uh, cognition or whatever it happens, the all other functions are drashtas. So drashta, the seer has all other functions. Now the seer and sakshi is different. The seer has some support of antakkarana. So here in Vedanta we say Jivatma Pramata. Pramata is knower. And sakshi is different from sakshi is not a knower. Sakshi is indifferent witness. Something like that. Therefore, Tasmacha Vivaryaya Siddham Sakchitvam Asya Purushasya And now Kaivalyam Madhyasthyam Drashtrutvam Akartrudhavasthya It has all these characters but some are attributed to that. Now this uh, pure consciousness as Purusha has no activity, no doership but the doership is attributed to the Purusha. Similarly, the enjoyment is also attributed, the Bhaktratvam is also attributed to the Purusha. Purusha has no enjoyment because it is, if we, uh, in the real state it is Sakshi. So Sakshi is not using any instrument and it has no reaction. This is very important. Sakshi will not react. And uh, if you uh, think more about it, Sakshi will not remember anything. The memory is also in Drashta, see it. Because for memory you need uh, mind, the instrument. No? Sakshi will not remember anything. You only witness. Now the point comes, the question comes here. If he, Sakti is not remembering anything, Sakti is not experiencing anything, if Sakti has, Sakti has no reaction, then how can you say you are witnessing it? Sakti is witnessing it. How, what, how will you say that? Because if you remember something, if you see something, you will remember and say, uh, yeah, I saw that and I remember it. Sakti cannot say that. But you have to remember, the memory will come only when you use mind. If you are not using mind and intellect, how can memory come? And here it is said, Sakshi will not use memory. Because uh, Sakshi is objecting, uh, no, Sakshi is uh, seeing, objectifying the in uh, instrument as intellect. So the, what Sakshi sees is intellect. Now intellect is not an instrument. Therefore, Sakshi can be experienced, only experienced as in its character. What you experience, you can say like uh, when you are in sleep, I slept well, it is an experience and uh, there was nothing, no objects, no objects are enjoyed, experienced that. So this experience, you can experience that. Okay, now is it right to say that? Again it is wrong. It is not an example we can say that. But in Vedanta sometimes they say, uh, in uh, Sushupti, Deep sleep, there is no sakshi. 
because deep sleep is not an object of sakti. Why? Because the object of sakti is instrument as uh, intellect. Intellect is an object of sakti, only intellect. Whatever happens in the mind, sakti observe it. That is what we say now. Now in Sushupti, there is no intellect, no mind working with the functions. Now what, uh, the, what uh, the Sakshi will see? If there is no functions, what we can see? Nothing, no? So, we don't see anything there. Where in Sushupti, because there is no mind. It is said uh, in Karika, we will see later, and one sutra itself it is there. Akartratve sadi drashtratvam udasinatve sadi bodhratvam sacha sambandha sakshitva. That is one sutra in Sankhya Darshan. And there it says, sacha sambandha deva buddhi matra sakshita. Sakshi only observes buddhi, intellect. Nothing else. It means outside objects are not observed by Sakshi. And when there is no intellect function, what is the object of Sakshi? Then we should say that there is no object of Sakshi. So in Jagra, when you are in waking state, mind is functioning, Sakshi will observe. And in dream state, when mind is functioning, Sakshi will observe it. And in deep sleep, when mind is not functioning, Sakshi will not uh, uh, see anything there. But, but still, Sakshi should be there. Hmm? Sakshi still exists. Uh, so, I wanted to uh, uh, ask you the question. Yes. <laughs> oh, you correctly asked. But therefore, I was uh, uh, no, uh, talking around. Now, you see, what we believe in Vedanta? Uh, that mantra, drishtu, drishtina, viru, vipari, loka, ah, yes. Correct. I am talking about that point. Now, it doesn't say it is Sakshi. It is only say, na drishto, drishte, vipari, lobo, vidyade, avina, sitva, na srodo, srode, vipari, lobo, vidyade, avina, sitva, it says. And who is that drishta? Atma. He only says there is the presence of Atma, the assistance of Atma is there. The Atma's assistance cannot be denied, although there is no functions of mind. That is what it says. Na drashto drishya vipari logo It doesn't say drashta is there. Drashtuhu, the fears, seer, seership cannot be disappeared or cannot be removed. There is no seer, but the seership is there or the quality of seeing is there or the potency of seeing is there. The, therefore, the seeing or knowing or hearing or whatever functions all the functions are attributed to the consciousness, to the Chaitanya. Okay. So the consciousness, the pure consciousness has no qualities. It is qualityless. This is what we talk about. If we say the Sakshitvam is a quality of consciousness, then if Sakshi is there, where in the state of Sushupti or Samadhi, where the other functions are not there. Now you just think, when there is no object, Sakshi is there, without object, what Sakshi sees, 
What is the object of Sakshi? When there is a function in the mind, Sakshi observe it. Sakshi, sakshi is the witness of that. That is called Sakshi. Without no instrument. Okay. Sakshi, object. In between there is no other uh, entity, nothing, no instrument. That's okay. And now, Sakshi is in one point, and the other point, the other side, the object is not there, no function is there, then what, what Sakshi sees? If we say there is some function in Sushupti, which can be observed by Sakshi, then what is that function? It is in the mind or in other ways, but we don't experience any function there. We have only the experience as we were there. Our own existence is experienced. Other than our existence, we can say we were uh, sleeping uh, you know, happily and uh, everything that, that's okay. That is another uh, point that we experience bliss, we experience uh, complete relaxation and all those. That is all compared in comparison with the uh, waking state. But there, we can thoroughly say that we experience our own experience, our own existence. Other than that, nothing was done. So then comes, if nothing was there, can we say nothing in us is seen by Sakshi? The nothing in us was an object of Sakshi or nothingness was observed by Sakshi. Sakshi witnessed nothingness there. Can we say that? You are correctly following me because you are asking correct questions. So, why I am taking this? This is very, very uh, deep to understand the difference between Sakshi and the nature of self. The nature of self is little different from Sakshi. Because Sakshi has an object. Sakshi is objectified something, then only it is Sakshi. If it is not objectifying, it is not witnessing anything, the Sakshi cannot be said Sakshi. Am I right? Because if I am talking, if I am speaking, I am speaker. If I am not speaking, I am not speaker. I have the ability to speak. I have the potency to speak, but now I am not speaker. I am not speaking, I am in Mauna. Is it right? Okay. What does it, uh, the Sakshi means witnessing. So witnesser, witness, uh, yeah, the, uh, witness. Witnessing an object. If there is no object, what is to be witnessed? Therefore, in this sense, if we say in Sachupti there is no object, the state, in that state, Sakshi is not Sakshi. Sakshi is also in his nature, nature of Swarupa. Swarupa what? Pure consciousness. The consciousness has existence. So that, the pure existence state. So, even witnessing is not there. You got it? 
Therefore, in some Vedanta textbook, or uh, when we learn Vedanta, we say, Avasthatre Sakshi. Yeah. We have been learned in Tattva Bodha and all those. Avasthatre Sakshi. It is a, it, there is a question mark. Avasthatre Sakshi, when we say, if Sakshitvam is a Sarupam of Atma, then the third avastha is not witnessed by Sakshi. If uh, there is an object to witness, then the Sushupti is not Sushupti, because again an object is there. Now I will come to your point. Another of, uh, you know, argument we can see here is after she said, Sakshi is witnessing the state itself. There is no object, but Sakshi, Sakshi is witnessing the state itself. Now what is that state for Sakshi? If the state of Sushupti is connected to Sakshi or connected to the mind or body, all the states, Jagra Sapna Sushupti, who has this state? Mind. Mind has this state. Therefore, if mind is not functioning or there is no function at all, Sakshi has no state. Why, why, why you should have? So we talked about the Turiyam also. Turiyam is in comparison we say the fourth stage. But Sakshi has or uh, Atma has no stages, no realms, no different in, differences in characters. Therefore, in this sense, we can say uh, when there is no object, no function of Indriya's uh, mind and intellect, the Sakchitvam is also not there. Sakchitvam is uh, in comparison. In comparison, you understand, no? To compare to the object. When object is there, we see it. So the mantra in Pradharanyaka uh, also says the same thing. Although there is no hearing, no seeing, but the seer has the quality of seeing, but absence of seer is not there. That is what it says. This way, Sakshitvam is different from the real nature of Atma, the pure consciousness. Sakshitvam is also attributed Sakchittam is not ultimate because Sakchittam needs Sakshya, the object of witnessing. Without that, Sakshi cannot be said Sakshi. So you remember this point, but when you learn Vedanta in other test book or listen to uh, other uh, Vedantic uh, talks, don't uh, apply this point because most of the Vedantic textbooks and Vedantic speakers they will say there is avasthatraya and its sakshi. So in the all the three avastha sakshis are there. So you identify yourself with the sakshi, then you will experience the nature of Brahman. This is what we learn from Vedanta. It's, a, it's actually basic Vedanta. But when you think about more about that, avasthatraya is there, we, we know avasthas are there, three uh, states of uh, no, experiences are there, but sakshitvam, uh, experiencing the indifference from these states is not ultimate, it is only the state of discrimination. You are separating the consciousness from the uh, prakriti. This is there. This is there. This is the sankhya system. From sankhya only it came. So you can see, you know, clearly they are speaking about this. So sakchitto asya purushasya. Therefore, you see, 
here Ishwara Krishna is talking about Madhyastyam, Drashtrattvam, Akartrabha, other three also. He is not leaving Sapchittam alone. He is uh, talking further. Kaivalyam, Kaivalyam aloneness. Aloneness is there only in Purusha. So in Sutrupti you experience aloneness. It's correct, no? In Samadhi you experience aloneness. In Moksha you experience aloneness. That is why that Sutra says, Sushupti Samadhi Sushupti Mokshayeshu Brahma Rupata because it says when you experience aloneness there is no multitude of Purusha. When the function of Prakriti or uh, it is when uh, connected to Amdhakarana there is multitude of Purusha. That we will discuss in next uh, Karika the reflection, the Amdhakarana's connection with the uh, Purusha. Madhyasthyam. Madhyasthya. Uh, Madhyasthya means you see now what is the difference between Sakshitva and Madhyasthya. We had a debate on this. Why I am saying this all this, you know, whatever I just uh, uh, said about this uh, Sakshi and this. We had a long debate on this. Many uh, scholars were there. Just taking these two words, what is the difference between Sakshitvam and Madhyasthya? Those two words are used. And uh, the translation you see, in English translation you cannot find much difference. It only changes the words. <laughs> sometimes it says witness as Sakshi and here a passive observer. Now what is the difference? between passive observer, Madhyasthya and uh, Sakshi cannot be known. The indifferent uh, mad, uh, Madhyasthyam, indifference to be by bystander. Uh, we can say neutral. Neutral. He is seeing all the functions, both sides, but he is not with the, any of these functions. Then it is Madhyastha. So, Madhyastha, a mediator. So, in mediate, what we translate Madhyastha as mediator. But here it is not mediate. No. So, no. There is quarrel between two groups or two per, uh, persons. The mediator comes and he mediate and talk with the both. And then the problem is solved. Try to consult the problem. He said uh, his name is Madhyastha, mediator. But here the Atma is not mediating. Then Madhyastha is a passive seer. Now uh, uh, the Atma or uh, the consciousness is seer, but this seeing is also attributed and passive seer because after seeing he is not giving any reaction. Normally, after seeing, we react. But this state, there is no reaction. Only seeing is there. And when you ask, you saw the functions, he can say, I saw. But uh, is it was good or bad? No. He will not differentiate what is good, what is bad, and who was right, who was wrong, and all those things. So, spectator, another word we can use for this is spectator. I think it is more correct to this sense, spectator. And it's okay, no? For Madhyastha, spectator is more correct word, right? Yeah. So, Madhyastyam, so Sakshi and Madhyastha, this is the difference. And therefore, Sakshi is natural. Sakti is more into uh, the uh, pure stage of consciousness. It is only seen when there is no object, no Sakti. But the existence of uh, consciousness is there, still there. And then comes Drashtratvam. Drashtratvam, we can say, uh, seership. 
uh, to be the spectator or witness. Drashtratvam. Now this Drashtratvam, the seership, is attributed to the Sakshi by the functions of Antakaranas. When Andakarana functions and uh, I sees the object, we say, I am the Drashta. Really, Drashta is not there. The attributed Drashta. We will learn from next Karika. Drashtrutvam Akartra Bhavascha. Akartra Bhava, non doership. Not the doership is attributed to the Sakshi, but there is no doership. Nothing is done. No, no action is there. Therefore, the Sakshitam is also not an action. Madhyastam is also not an action. Drashtratvam is also not an action. And no action is there. Drashtratvam, Kartratvam and all those we can act. Without action, because all the actions are there in Prakriti only. Those actions are attributed in some, some stages, some situation to the Purusha, the consciousness. When we say, I think, who is thinking? Mind is thinking, but what we are saying is, we don't say mind thinks, my mind is thinking, no, you say I think, I know, the knowing is there in the intellect, it is attributed to I, we don't say my intellect knows. His function is happening somewhere else and is attributed to consciousness. And now what is the reaction and where is the reaction of I think or I know? The reaction where it appears? You think the thought process and after the reaction of that thinking is also there in the mind. The knowing is there in the intellect and reaction is also there in the intellect. Therefore, consciousness is also totally indifferent. Madhyastha. It's like a light showing all the objects. But light is different from all the objects. The objects are seen in the presence of light, but this light is disconnected or light is totally indifferent. Whatever functions takes place, it is different from light. Similarly, Sakshitvam and Madhyastyam and Drashtritvam Akartra Bhava. <coughs> All, all can be attributed to uh, Purusha, but actually those are not there. This we will learn in the Karika 62. And now uh, the question comes here. Hmm. The same one sutra is there in, uh, if somebody wants to refer to Yoga Sutra. Sada Jnada Chitta Vrittaya. This is what I wanted to quote. Sada Jnada Chitta Vrittaya. Tat Prabhoho Purushasya Aparinamitva. Uh, Yoga Sutra 4.18. Sadat Jnana Chitta Vrittaya. All the functions of Vrittis of Chitta is known to Sakshi. Sadat Jnana Chitta Vrittaya. But Tat Prabhoho, the Sakshi is. Purushasya Aparinamitva. Why it is always known? Because this Purusha is Aparinami. Purusha is Aparinami. 
Purusha has no manifestation, no changes. It is still same. The, the same character is there. It is always stands still, unchangeable, unmutable. Therefore, all the objects are there. It sees. Now here is another point. We don't have this time. Here, when we say about uh, nidra sushupti in yoga sutra, yoga sutra nidra is also nidra. So according to yoga sutra, so nidra can be observed by the seer because of it is vritti. But according to Vedanta, it is not vritti. It cannot be seen. So therefore, sadas chitta vritta yahat nyada. Other than Chitta Vritti, nothing is connected to Purusha. Only mind knows, intellect knows, Ahangara knows, these are the knowers. The Chitta Vrittis are connected, all the functions are connected. Huh. Therefore, uh, Sakshi is, uh, with its characters, pure consciousness, nothing else. This has been established here. So we will see. Uh, the connection of Purusha and Prakriti in next Karta. Om Purnamadah Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudasyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti Shanti Shanti